I'm not against the stadium. I'm not against the stadium at all. I'm an Oldham Athletic supporter and an Oldham Rugby supporter. My family always has been. I'm not against it. What, I'm to- what I am against is the density of this population round here. Anybody who buys a house next door to a football ground pretty much knows what they're getting into. Traffic, noise, disturbance on match day. But what's agitating people living in these houses is that Oldham Athletic have just unveiled major redevelopment plans, which include work on the ground, hotel and banqueting facilities, a conference suite, and almost 700 new homes. Well, I'm just frightened about all this traffic. I don't think there's enough parking for all the uh, flats. I might be wrong, though. They said there is. Yeah. They said there is going to be, but when there's match days, yeah. as you can see... They haven't put any coaches on, have they? Even some of the club's die-hard fans say they have some reservations about what's going to happen here. I bought this house because I wanted to be near the football ground. Right. Um, so I'm now going to have houses and apartments right behind me and all the traffic. I mean, I want the ground to go ahead. It's just the sheer size of everything. Oldham Athletics Chief Executive Alan Hardy says he is sympathetic to the concerns of his neighbours, but he insists that this redevelopment is vital to the future of the club. Well, I'd dread to think what could have happened if, uh, if we hadn't got the go-ahead last night because, as I say, the, you know, the owners can't continue to put their hand in the pocket for £15,000 every week. It was vital that we introduced these new revenue streams. It was vital that we got... Uh, you know, the go-ahead to, to take our, our plans forward and, and to, to realise the dream for the borough, for the fans, for the club, for everybody concerned. Now, Oldham Athletics say that the residential component of these proposals is only an outline at this stage. There's plenty of detail still to be shaded in and local people will doubtless be studying those details very closely indeed. I'm Kevin Duffy for Channel M News.